All right, everyone, welcome back to another video. It's Jira Bro. Today, we're going to be doing another Jira Cloud API. And this time, we're going to be creating the users in Atlassian Cloud. Now, you probably know when you go to user management, you can add up to 10, uh, 10 users. Yes, this exists, but I wanted to show you how you can actually do this in a programmatic way. We're going to be using this guide right here. There are some things that I already have done. So as the prerequisite, what you actually need to do is basically you need to create two rows in your uh, spreadsheet. You can uh, use either like uh, Google Sheets, you can use Excel, uh, either is good. But you just want to make sure that you have email address and also that you want to have products in here. Uh, the thing is, you're not going to need this comma here. So it's going to be email address in one column and the another column it's going to be products. For email addresses, you're going to be entering the correct email addresses of the users that you want to add. And for the products, this time it's going to be Jira dash software. So I'm going to be using that because I'm going to be adding the uh, uh, Jira, Jira access to the users when, when I am, well, adding them to the project. So I already have this set up. If you haven't, uh, if you don't have this set up, you need to actually fill in this sheet and you need to actually save it as the CSV file. So this is a, this is really important. Okay, so the another thing that uh, you actually need to do, since I'm going to be using the postman, you're going to go for your collections, you're going to create a collection, you're going to create a new request, you want to make sure that your uh, request is actually the post request, you want to include your Jira cloud URL followed by slash rest slash api slash two slash user because that is going to be the uh, rest api call that we're we're going to use for the body uh, you actually need to copy and paste this uh, from this side here uh, so in here that says ensure type is inherited off from the parent. I haven't actually used this, but for my authorization, I was using the basic authorization where I used uh, where you use your email as username and you use the API key that you actually generate when you go uh, when you click when you actually click on your avatar. Actually, you cannot see it here, so I'm going to show you. So you click on your avatar, you click on manage account. From the manage account, you're going to go for security for uh, creating the API tokens. You're going to create your API token. You're going to copy it. You're going to paste it with the authorization. I'm going to I'm not going to be showing that because it contains my API key, but uh, generally right now it cannot be like really used because I would have to create a new one because it's not really uh, it's not really seen because when you present it with the API key and when you actually exit that uh, window, you're not going to be able to go back and to review that old API key. So. Uh, moving on, uh, so you actually want to copy and paste this into your uh, body because this is like the uh, raw, raw code and you actually need to make sure that this is selected to be JSON. Okay, so now we basically have everything what we are actually missing in here. So we're missing to... Um, we're missing two. Let me just see it in here because this is not and this is not the correct one. 
yeah it's actually this one okay so from this one and yeah, this is the correct the correct one when you make changes make sure that uh, that you save your changes now what we're we gonna do so uh, you make sure that CSV file is prepared you're gonna go here you're gonna go for the overview and within the overview itself you're gonna click on runs maybe you had some runs in here they're gonna be that will show uh, from your uh, previous uh, API calls now what I want to select is run the collection I want to go with the data I actually want to select the data right here and uh, when I select the data I actually want to make sure that the another thing is uh, prepared here and that is let me just uh, double check something and two, yeah there are like five of them okay so it's gonna say number of iterations five this uh, really depends on how many users you actually want to add okay so uh, in here you actually don't want to you know touch any of these you want to make sure that you have loaded your CSV okay let me just uh, run this it's gonna take some time okay it's making now the third iteration it's now going for the fourth iteration and now it's going for the five as you can see all of all of them went uh, successfully and when you can we can actually see this from this code right here because the code of 200 is indicating that uh, the API call was actually succeed uh, was a success 400 probably you saw like error 404 not found that is the error from the client side and then you have uh, like the error of 500 for example uh, that indicates that there is something wrong with the server okay that was a bit of a lesson for the basic API status codes now let's see what we have done here let's see if we added some of the users let me just refresh voila so we have a lot of users that were actually being added added here okay so that is the uh, whole uh, tutorial on how you can actually create the users using the Jira REST API and uh, Postman and yeah that is everything that you guys needed to know we'll see you guys in the next video bye bye